like about it is a lot of it is just wallets. Uh, so ultimately, the risk is theirs. You know, if they're gonna spend and it's if it's not gonna appreciate, or maybe they're buying at a high. They're already buying at a high, so I can't see how they're going to. What the upside of that is, if you're looking at it from an investment point of view, for the next maybe 10, 15 years. Yeah. Leo, what are you celebrating? What and what puts you off in today's art scene? When there's talk, more talk about money than the art, <laughs> really, um, um, it's it's just awful if it's boiled. It if it boils down to money. Um, yeah, they sort of. Um, <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's a necessary evil because if uh, yeah, there, uh, there's no purchasing power, right, the uh, industry wouldn't also grow mm -hmm. to these. Yeah. But see, it should all magnitude. grow together. Eh? It should all grow together. The auctions, the galleries, the museums, the art schools. These, this should always, I mean, it shouldn't be one is more dominant yeah. than the other. Indeed, lopsided. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know. I think, I mean, I think Pinoy is like gambling. I mean, they like to buy stuff. Nah, they want they want the hunt. Hi, thanks for watching Shake with Nancy Irlanda. To see more of what's shaking the city, click on the subscribe button below. Click on the i button on the upper right hand corner of your screen to see more videos. See you back here soon.